Alright, let's try this without the capacitor or anything. I don't have a variac, so I can't bring it up gradually. But we'll just see what kind of light show this makes. <laughs> that tiny little microwave transformer is smoking just as fast as that motor is. <laughs> I need a much bigger transformer. Commutator bars look fine. It's just burning the brushes up. Now, oh, let's go again. Alright, this is uh, Mott vs. Motor Part 2. Since the camera lost the epic burnout of the last tiny little Chinese microwave transformer. I'm going to try it again with a couple of really old ones. That one's an Amstrad. It has multi-voltage input, 120 or 115, 220, 240. I'll just bridge between 220 and 0. And this one here is just an old Toshiba. It should work well. I'm just going to hook up the power supply and let this thing burn. Tom bars are still sort of intact, somewhat. That part's starting to come, up, come away. I tripped it last time.
<laughs> Holy shit! I've never seen one do that before. Wow! Let's start up again. Yeah, the microwave transform is burning. Yeah, I think I better save the transformer for another motor. Let's try again. burned out the brush springs. That's what those iron sparks were, that was the brush springs getting worn down. I think this one's done for now. Alright, let's try this thing with cap screws as brushes. Although that missing combar could mess things up. microwave transformer just yet. I'd say that didn't work as well as I was hoping it would. Oh, that's the end of that motor. Let's find another one next week. Thanks for watching.